Hello everyone. In the previous session, I have explained the concept of mathematical expectations of a, a discrete random variable and continuous random variable. So in this session, let me start with the new concept. It is called as normal distribution. Normal distribution. Fine. So before going to the topic, let me revise the concept that you have already learned. So whenever you want to calculate standard deviation, you are going to use the formula square root of variance. Right. Anyhow, if you want to calculate variance from standard deviation, you need to do square on both sides so that you will get standard deviation whole square will be is equal to square root of e whole square. So that square and square get cancelled. So variance can be calculated by using the formula standard deviation the square. Am I correct? Now, suppose if you have any random variable x, which is said to be a normal distribution with the parameters. Parameters in the sense it is just a like a um, attribute associated with this uh, random variable. So if mu is one of the parameter, as you already know, mu is none other than mean, and sigma square. Sigma square is none other than variance. As I already told you that uh, standard deviation is represented by sigma. So variance is equal to standard deviation is sigma the whole square. So sigma square is none other than variance. Fine. So mu is none other than mean. So a standard variable, I'm sorry, a random variable x is x with um, parameters mean and a variance mu square is said to be a normal distribution if um, its density function as you already know density function is none other than a continuous random distribution right so if its density function will be of the form f of x is equal to 1 by sigma into square root of 2 pi e power of minus x minus mu whole square divided by 2 times sigma. See, entire uh, numerical analysis and uh, statistical method is based on the formula. So, you need to re uh, remember the formula. So, I am just repeating once again. Normal distribution is none other than for any random variable x with a parameter mu that is mean and sigma square variance, it is said to be a normal distribution only when its density function f of x is of the form 1 by sigma into square root of 2 pi e power of x minus mu divided by 2 into sigma. Now, where sigma is none other than standard deviation, you need to calculate standard deviation only by using this formula sigma f d square divided by n minus sigma f d divided by n whole square. So, this is the formula to calculate sigma in this form, in this formula. Clear? Similarly, mu can be calculated by using the formula mu is none other than mean. It is sigma f x divided by n. Fine. And moreover, x value where, uh, so x value and uh, mu value will be in between minus infinity to plus infinity in the sense they should be positive quantities fine and uh, this sigma will be uh, sigma value i'm sorry they should be finite quantities and sigma value should be greater than zero in the sense sigma value should be positive and x and mu value should be finite that is it should be in between minus infinity and plus infinity clear this is uh, what the concept of normal distribution is. Next, let me explain standard normal distribution. And moreover, x is a random variable. So, anyhow, standard normal distribution. This is just a normal distribution. So, now nor standard normal distribution in the sense a density function for a normal distribution is given by f of x is equal to 1 by sigma into square root of this is what? 1 by 2 sigma, I am sorry, 1 by square root of 2 pi into e power of minus x minus mu whole square divided by 2 sigma square. I am sorry, square is left out here. It is square. So, this is the density function for a normal distribution, right? This is for a density function for normal distribution. The corresponding distribution function, this is a density function for a normal distribution. A corresponding distribution function p of x is equal to 1 by sigma into square root of 2 pi minus infinity to plus infinity e power of v minus mu whole square divided by 2 sigma o square into dv is called as standard normal distribution. I will just repeat once again. This is the density function with reference to normal distribution. The corresponding distribution function of this density function is represented by P of x and is given by 1 by sigma into square root of 2 pi integral from minus infinity to plus infinity e power of minus v minus mu whole square divided by 2 sigma square into dv. So this is called as standard normal distribution. Clear? Now, we have a graph uh, of this density function. So, I will just uh, draw here. 
so this is called as a standard normal distribution hope so it is clear for you this graph is called as standard normal curve standard normal curve so distribution will be of the form normal distribution so while explaining the q semic skewness of a data i have explained the symmetric distribution right so something like that z is equal to minus 2 so it will be keep on continuing so here equally distributed so you will get something like this clear so this curve is called as uh, normal standard i mean standard normal curve this distribution is called as standard normal distribution fine so this for this particular um, distribution we can also write p of x probability distribution p of x can be replaced by p of z p of z is equal to f of z which is equal to 1 divided by together combining do, these together we can write integral from e power of minus z square by 2 into dz what i have done is i have replaced sigma is equal to 1 in this particular expression and i have replaced x minus mu will be equal to i'm um, sorry v minus mu will be is equal to z fine see here v minus mu divided by v minus mu divided by sigma is equal to z when you replace this with z you will get z square in the numerator right see minus as it is v minus mu divided by sigma is z you have square for that so i have written square here uh, mu is equal to 1 for this value so it is 1 so you will get this standard normal curve distribution by replacing sigma is equal to 1 Anyhow, you just remember, uh, I'm sorry, memorize this formula, yeah, one of the same, right? So, memorize this formula as well as this formula. Clear? Only two formulas you have and moreover, it is already known to you. So, this is what the normal distribution and this is the standard normal distribution associated with the normal distribution. Yes, probability distribution associated with the standard normal distribution. This C here, don't get confusion, this is the normal distribution. Fine. The probability function associated with this normal distribution is called a standard normal distribution. So this is the standard normal curve which can be obtained by replacing sigma is equal to 1 and v by v minus mu by sigma by z. Fine. So now let me solve uh, problems based on this concept. So here is the problem. Anyhow, uh, I will I'll just forward these notes. If you want, you can just go through this. So this is the formula for standard normal curve. I have written everything clearly. So this will be your notes. Anyhow, I will send it in group. Don't worry. Now, coming to the problem. There's two more questions important. Find the area under the standard normal curve. It is clearly mentioned you have to find the area under the standard normal curve between z is equal to 0 and z is equal to 1 by 2. So just now I have drawn the normal distribution curve, right? So this will be the standard normal distribution curve. So you will get z is equal to 0 exactly at the midpoint. So here z is equal to 0 and 1.2. So here you will get 1. 1 1.2 so i'm sorry let me yeah let me take here it is 1 it is 2 so 1.2 in the sense it will be line lies between 1 and 2 so here you will get 1.2 right so let me write the formula we have what is the formula f of z is equal to p of z is equal to just now i have written for a standard normal curve see here it is given in the formula list as well i just i am showing you for your reference see this is the standard normal curve f p of z is equal to f of z is equal to 1 divided by square root of 2 pi integral e power of minus z square by 2 into dz fine so i have just written the formula clear now what we have to do is we have to find the area under this curve see whenever before going to solve the problem i'll give you an hint whenever the values of z is given meaning is that these values let me take this as a and let me take this as b so that that this can be expressed in the standard form as z lies between these values a and b fine so first value should be lower value a value should be lower lowest value and b value should be highest value you just remember that you have to express the z values in a standard form so this is the standard form of z that is z value will be lies between a and b fine now we can write probability of z as what is the lowest value zero less than or equal to remember less than or equal to z less than or equal to what is the highest value 1.2 so this is the standard form you just remember this which is equal to 1 divided by square root of 2 pi into now you have to substitute the limits always lower limit is the lowest value it is zero upper limit is 1.2 here now e power of minus z square by 2 into dz now remember no need to integrate and uh, do any calculation here you have to use only this table 
so similar to logarithm that you have already studied in your first sem so you they will give this normal distribution curve so this is something like logarithm table it represent area under the curve standard curve so for normal distribution 0 to z fine now how to refer this column um sorry this table i'll just let me explain so here what is the upper limit here 1.2 now look at this column 1.2 hope so everybody can see this right so in 1.2 after 1.2 we don't have any decimal any number here so you have to look at the first column only in 1.2 under 0 what you have 0 0.3849 0.3849 remember always first you have to apply upper limit so upper limit is 1.2 for 1.2 what is the value you have 0 0.3849 first you just write down this 0 0.3849 remember no need to apply any integration no need to carry this constant anything nothing only upper limit value you have to search in the table so 1.2 you don't have any further value so you have to stop at the first value itself so it is 0 0.3849 is it visible right yeah next lower limit look at the lower limit what is the lower limit value you have zero fine now look at the column zero zero point zero is none other than zero first value is zero fine so zero is none other than what is the value you have point zero zero in the sense zero only minus zero so when you subtract what you are going to get point three eight four nine so this is the probability of zero less than or equal to z less than or equal to one point two that's it only thing is you need to add, uh, know this reference of the table anyhow so let me solve one more problem so that you will understand well before solving the problem you just write the note point in uh, your uh, notebook as you already know that what is the properties of integrals is properties of integrals as you already studied this in your pu so what it says is suppose if you have integral from a to b you can when you the minute when you interchange this limit in the sense when you're writing b here and a here you have to change the sign of the one of the integral so i can write this as minus b by a similarly when you have integral a to b you can split this integral into two like a to zero plus zero to b so here zero zero get cancelled you will get a to b only fine so you have to remember these two property you just write it in a note point fine now second one find the area under the standard normal curve as usual first you write on the formula f of z is equal to p of z is equal to formula is mandatory no need to do anything you have to practice the formula as much as possible so make a formula list whatever you are going to get in your entire statistics so that it will be easy for you to um, memorize fine so probability of z write it in a standard form which is the lowest value zero less than or equal to z less than or equal to highest value is 1.53 which is equal to 1 divided by root 2 times pi what is the lower limit zero upper limit 1.53 into e power of minus z square by 2 into dz again you have to refer the table without uh, integrating it so here is the table anyhow it is given in your test book last page of your test book if you don't have test book don't worry you just go through the logarithmic table uh, and check whether it was there or not hope so it was there if it is not there in the exam don't worry they will give fine see here what is the upper limit as i already told you you have to apply first upper limit upper limit is 1.53 so you have to look at 1.5 under the column 3 see here 1.5 under the column 3 1.5 under the column 3 is 0 0.4370 0 0.4370 I am just writing it 0 0.4370 minus lower limit is 0 for 0 what you have 0 only so you just put 0 there so after subtraction also you will get the same 4370 so this is the probability of 0 less than or equal to z less than or equal to 1.53 that's it clear as usual uh, the notes of the same will be forwarded in the group after that you just uh, copy the notes and put the heading problems and keep on solving this fine now let me solve uh, one more problem so here is the third one find the area under the standard normal curve between these two value remember among 0 and minus 1 which is the highest value 0 is the highest value always negative values are lowest value only so this is the lower value and this is the highest value fine so now let me solve this by using the formula first write down the formula p of z is equal to 1 divided by square root of 2 pi 0 to i am sorry limits is not there in the formula e power of minus z square by 2 into dz curve will something look like uh, z is equal to 0 no need to draw curve if you want you can see here um, minus 0 0.68 you will get minus 1 here 0 0.68 will be some somewhere here only so you will get positive value here 
so we need to calculate area under z is equal to 0 and z is equal to minus 0 0.68 in the sense the area under this shaded portion you need to calculate fine so for that p of z is equal to 1 divided by square root of 2 pi integral from what is the lower limit here minus 0 0.68 upper limit is 0 e power of minus z square by 2 into dz so as i already told you you have to replace z i am sorry i forgot to do that 0 0.68 less than or equal to z why because lower value is minus only which is less than or equal to 0 will be is equal to 1 by root 2 pi now since you have negative value here right see here in the entire table you will not get negative value in a normal distribution curve fine so no negative values you will get in a table for that reason you have to change this negative sign into positive as i already told you by the properties of integration whenever you have a to b you should interchange in order to make it positive like minus b to a i have given right so if you interchange minus will automatically become plus so i'll shift this to upper limit so you will get minus will become plus clear i'll just repeat once again since you have negative value here you have to make it positive so what i have done is i have shifted this lower limit to upper limit so that minus will become plus now zero you have to change the sign right so zero whatever may be the sign for zero it doesn't affect so either it is minus zero or plus zero it will be same fine so e power of minus z square by 2 into dz now what is the upper value no need to integrate and anything upper limit you have to substitute 0 0.6 under the 8 column 0 0.68 it is 0 0.68 meaning is you have to look at 0 0.6 under 8 see here 0 0.6 is here under 8 in the sense what is the value you have under 8 it is 0 0.6 under 8 is 0 0.2518 hope so you can see here 0 0.6 under 8 is 0 0.2518 you just write the value 0.2518 minus 0 values anyhow 0 only as I already shown so when you subtract you will get 0.2518 so this is the probability of I'm um, sorry area between the curve minus 0 0.68 to 0 Five. so here is the next problem we have to find the area under the standard normal curves between z is equal to minus 0 0.46 and z is equal to 2.22 as usual first step you just write down the formula p of z is equal to 1 divided by square root of 2 pi into integral over minus z square by 2 into dz fine now which is the lowest value as usual it is minus value so i can write z of minus 0 0.46 less than or equal to i'm sorry p of p of z value is less than or equal to z which is less than or equal to 2.21 is equal to 1 divided by square root of 2 pi what is the lower limit here lower limit is minus 0 0.46 upper limit is 2.21 e power of minus z square by 2 dz now you can note that even though since you have negative sign here even though if you interchange the limits uh, one of the value will get negative sign right see here when you interchange this mine 2 will get negative sign when you interchange again again it will get negative sign it's fine so i am going to split this integral 1 divided by square root of 2 pi as it is now i am going to split this as minus 0 0.46 to 0 e power of minus z square by 2 dz plus 0 to 2.21 e power of minus z square by 2 dz clear what i have done is i have just split the integral into two terms right so 1 by square root of 2 pi as it is now we have to apply the limit before that i have to change the sign here in order to change the sign how we can change the sign that is by interchanging the limits so when you interchange this you will get 0 0.46 to 0 e power of minus z square by 2 dz plus 0 to anyhow it is as it is why because it has positive sign e power of minus z square by 2 dz so it is 1 by square root of 2 pi again no need to write so you just apply the values of normal distribution curve so it is 0 0.46 in the sense 0 0.4 under 6 you have to look 0 0.4 under 6 is 0 0.1772 fine 0 0.1772 plus i'm sorry lower limit again you have to apply right so minus upper limit value is this value zero lower limit is zero in the sense zero at zero it is zero only so i'll just write zero here fine zero plus again upper limit is 2.21 in the sense 2.2 .2 under 1 2.2 .2 under 1 is 0 0.4864 0 0.4864 
फोर एट सिक्स फोर माइनस लोअर लिमिट इज जीरो ओनली फाइन सो वॉट यू हैव जीरो पॉइंट वन सेवन सेवन टू प्लस जीरो पॉइंट फोर एट सिक्स फोर सो वेन यू एड यू विल गेट जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स सिक्स थ्री सिक्स सो दिस इज द प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ माइनस जीरो पॉइंट फोर सिक्स लेस देन आर इक्वल टू जेड लेस देन आर इक्वल टू टू पॉइंट टू वन फाइन Why? Because I have split it this. Why? Because when you entertain the limits also, one of the value will get negative sign. So that is the reason I split it into two parts. Clear? Here is the <coughs> next problem. Evaluate the following using the normal probability distribution table. Evaluate the following using normal probability distribution table. First open and second question. So let me solve first question here. First question: Probability of minus one point six two less than or equal to z less than or equal to minus zero point Eight two. Fine. Now, you, as usual, first write down the formula. One by what is the formula? P of z is equal to one by square root of two pi integral from e power minus z square by two into dz. So I can write probability of minus one point six two less than or equal to z less than or equal to minus zero point eight two as one by square root of two pi into integral from what is the limit you have here? Minus one point six two two minus zero point eight two into e power of minus z square by two dz. I'm going to interchange the limits here. So one divided by square root of two pi as it is. Now I'm going to shift this uh, upper limit to lower limit so that the sign minus will become plus. Again, I'm going to ch shift uh, minus one point six two two upper limit so that minus will become plus. Fine. So e power of minus z square by two into dz. Now you have to apply the um, table, right? So one point six below the column two. See here, one point six below two. It is zero point four four seven four. Zero point seven seven four four minus. What is the lower limit here? I'll just uh, go through one. See here, one point six below two. This is the normal distribution. One point six below two. Point four four seven four. I'm sorry. Point four four seven four. You can clearly see here. One point six below two is point four four seven four. Fine. Minus lower limit is point eight two. Point eight under two. Point eight under two is point two nine three nine. So point two nine. Three nine upper limit minus lower limit. So do subtraction. You will get uh, after subtraction you will get one point five three seven. Therefore probability of minus one point six two less than or equal to z less than or equal to minus zero point eight two will be zero point one five three seven. Now let me solve second one. I mean second sub question. So what is the given problem? P z greater than or equal to minus two point five three. So In order to find this, we have to convert it in terms of standard form. See here, suppose if you have a greater than or equal to b, I can write the same as b less than or equal to a, right? Just by shifting. So similarly, I can write this as probability of minus two point five three less than or equal to z. Why? Because as I already told you, standard form should be this. That is a less than or equal to z less than or equal to b. Since it is negative value, so obviously you have to write zero here. Fine. So this is the standard format. So if nothing is given, if z is greater than minus two point five three, it should be up to positive value. That is zero. You have to write here. Fine. Just have reversed this and I have fixed the final value. Fine. Now let me write down the formula. Anyhow, you have already written the formula once, so it is more than enough. No need to write again. As I already told you, among minus two point five three and zero, zero is the highest value and minus two point five is the lowest value. So this will be the lower limit. This will be the upper limit. So as you interchange, this will become positive. I'll just write one more step. See here, one by root two pi. Lower limit is minus two point five three. Upper limit is zero. Fine. So when you interchange this to a upper limit, you will get plus here. Fine. So e power of minus z square by two into dz now 2.5 below the column 3 see here 2.5 under the column 3 is 0.4943 fine 0.4943 Minus lower limit is zero. Anyhow, zero column you will be having zero only, so you need to write zero only. So when you subtract, you will get probability of minus two point five three less than or equal to z less than or equal to zero will be point four nine four three. So this is the solution for second sub question.
clear? Remember, negative value is always lower than the positive value. So, this is the lower limit, this is the highest limit. So, when you write it in a standard form, I'll just write here e power of minus z square by 2 dz. After shifting, you will get, exchanging, you will get positive sign here, thereby uh, substitution and simplification. Fine. Now, let me solve uh, one more problem. So, here is the problem. If x is a normal variable with mean 18, mean value is given and the standard deviation is 3. Find the probability, first one is 14 less than or equal to x, less than or equal to 28 and the second one is x less than or equal to 23. Fine. Now, let me solve the first one. So, as I already given that in a formula list, you just go through there, uh, mean formula I have given and probability formula also given. Right. So, formula for uh, probability is given by z is equal to v minus mu divided by sigma or uh, while uh, replacing the values I have given, right? So, here whatever the z value, uh, I am sorry, it may be missed in the notes, you just copy it down. So, here the z value will be v minus mu divided by sigma minus should come outside here. I am sorry. Fine. So, v minus mu by sigma. Z value is v minus mu divided by sigma. So, after replacing it in a standard normal curve. So, I will just write z is equal to v minus mu by sigma or it may be equal to x minus mu by sigma, one and the same. In place of v, what we have? x. See here, in f of x we have x, in p of x we have v. Either we can write x or we can write v, one and the same. So, I have written both here. Clear? Now, what is the given data? Mean is given. Mean is 18. In the sense, mu is rep mean is represented by mu. It is 18. And standard deviation is given. Standard deviation sigma is equal to 3. These are the given data. Fine. We need to find the probability of 14 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 28. First question. Right. So, meaning is x is equal to 14. First, we have to take x is equal to 14 and x is equal to 28. x is equal to 14 and x is equal to 28. Use the formula. Since x is given, you have to use this formula. z is equal to x minus mu divided by sigma. Here, the x value is 14 minus mu value. Mu is 18 divided by sigma is 3. Again, here the same, z is equal to x minus mu by sigma. Let me simplify, 14 minus 18 is minus 1.33, 14 minus 18 divided by 3. Similarly, x is 28, 28 minus 18 divided by 3. So, when you simplify, you will get 10 divided by 3, it is 3.33. Fine. First, you have to take x as 14 and uh, uh, x as 28 next and substitute in a probability formula. So, you will get this. Now, let me calculate probability of minus 1.33. Why? Because you should get x values in terms of fraction, decimals. So, when x is equal to 14 in the sense, you have to re replace it with minus 1.33. x is equal to 28 in the sense, you have to replace x. Remember, whatever the problems we have solved so far, we have in terms of z, but not in terms of x. Here in this problem, they have given in terms of x. So, we have to convert it in terms of z. That is why we are using this formula. And once we obtain the values of z, so these are the values of z corresponding x values. So, when x is equal to 14, z is equal to minus 1.33 when x is equal to 28 so we are changing x to z so you have to write z here x is equal to 28 z is equal to 3.33 fine so then only we can apply the normal distribution curve table right so we should have the term in term uh, i mean uh, the values in terms of z but not in terms of x so that is why i have used this formula z fine so as usual by the formula i can write this as 1 by root 2 pi what is the lower limit is minus 1.33 upper limit is 3.33 into e power of minus z square by 2 dz. Fine. So, one is with negative sign and another is with positive sign. So, even if you interchange, you will get one one of the term as negative. So, you have to split this term as I already done one, of, uh, one problem in this method. So, I can split this as 1.333 uh, 0 e power of minus z square by 2 dz plus again 0 to 3.33 e power of minus z square by 2 dz. Just I have splitted this. Fine. Now, uh, we can apply the limit. Before that, I will just do one more step. Now, we can shift this. So, when you shift, minus will become plus 1.33 0 e power of minus z square by 2 dz. Plus, anyhow, no need to shift. Why? Because uh, anyhow, we have positive sign only e power of minus z square by 2 dz. Clear? Now, we can apply the uh, normal distribution curve property. See here, 1.3 below the column 3. 1.3 is here below the column 3 is this 0 0.4066 0. 
see here i'll just show you once again 1.3 under the column 3 1.3 under the column 3 0 0.4082 0 0.4082 minus lower limit is 0 for 0 it is 0 only plus what is the upper limit 3.333 in the sense 3.3 .3 below the column 3 you have to see below the column 3 in the sense here you have to see it is 3 right 3.3 under the column 3 is 0 0.4996 0 0.4996 minus lower limit is 0 anyhow 0 value is 0 only so when you do this you will get 0 0.4082 plus 0 0.4996 so let me add these two value you will get 0 0.9078 therefore this is the probability of minus 1.33 less than or equal to z less than or equal to 3.33 and uh, please remember you should have in terms of z but here it is given in terms of x so that is why I have used this formula fine now next one we, we need to find for the second sub question we need to find probability of x less than 23 less than or equal to 23 fine again we need to use the same formula why because we need to convert x in terms of z right so what is the formula for z z is equal to x minus mu by sigma what is the value of x here 23 minus mu is none other than mean it is given that 18 divided by sigma is 3 so let me simplify you will get 1.66 it is enough to write two digits fine now we can write this as 0 less than or equal to z 0 is obvious and 23 in terms of z is none other than 1.66 once you have converted x value in terms of z you have to use that fine 1.66 will which which is equal to 1 divided by square root of 2 pi formula 0 to upper limit is 1.66 e power of minus z square by 2 dz fine now we have to look 1.6 under the column 6 see here 1.6 under the column 6 is 0.4515 is it clear 0.4515 again lower limit is 0 for 0 it is 0 so 0.4 see here 1.6 under the column 6 1.6 under the column 6 is 0.4515 right 0.4515 minus lower limit is 0 you will get 0 only so when you subtract you will get 0.4515 so this is the required solution 0.45 one five. Hope so. It is clear, right? So when you subtract, you will get point four five one five only. So both the sub questions are solved. Now let me solve one more question. So here is the next question. Thousand. I'm sorry. Fifteen thousand students are appeared for BCA examination of Bangalore University. The mean marks were forty nine, and standard deviation of mark was six. Assuming the marks to be normally distributed, find the number of students scored marks more than 55 so we have to assume that the um, marks is normally distributed we have to find the number of students who score more than 55 among 15,000 students fine for that we have to find probability of the students who score more than 55 mark of probability of one student we have to find after that we can generalize it for 15 students right so we have to let x be the mark scored let x be the mark scored so if x is a mass code we have to find x greater than 55 that is probability of a student who score more than 55 i mean normal distribution of a student uh, who scored mark more than 55 so x should be greater than 55 and what is given mean mark of a student is given it is 49 and standard deviation sigma is given it is 6 fine so let me convert uh, in since we have uh, x condition given in terms of x so we need to convert it in terms of z so i can write z is equal to x minus mu divided by sigma x value is 55 minus mu is 49 divided by sigma is 6 so when you simplify 6 by 6 you will get 1 therefore z value is equal to 1 fine now we need to find for the one student that is normal distribution with reference to one student that is z is equal to one probability of z greater than one now since we don't have lower limit here so suppose if you have negative value you can write here zero but you have z greater than one z greater than one in the sense we have to cover right from zero to one greater than one meaning is i it, it will cover two three four and so on right so what is the value be, behind one you will have zero minus one minus two right so in a number line uh, greater than one meaning is it will cover only right from one value what, what about the values which is behind we have to subtract it right so we can write probability of z greater than or equal to zero minus probability of zero less than z less than one 
why i have done this because we need to find probability of z greater than 1 z greater than 1 in the sense it will take up to the values right from 1 so we need to subtract the values from this to obtain the value of this we have to subtract these values from 0 to remaining values i'll just repeat once again see we need to calculate z greater than 1 meaning is we have to do afterwards one i mean right from one to remaining values but we don't know in the, the normal distribution for remaining negative values and along with zero fine so what we are doing is we are subtracting all the positive values that is greater than zero values meaning is right, all these values from the number line see i'll just show you 1 2 3 4 all the values you will be having here minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 you will have here greater than 1 meaning is the values will be covering from here onwards but we don't know anything about this so we need to subtract this so z greater than 0 in the sense it will include all the values right from 0 so we are subtracting this value from greater than equal to 0 so when you subtract this value you will get z greater than 1 so if you find uh, difficulty to uh, understand this concept you just memorize so probability of z greater than 1 can be written as probability of z greater than equal to 0 minus probability of 0 less than z less than 1 meaning of this statement is c here i'll just uh, convey in more effective way z greater than 0 in the sense greater than or equal to you have so it will start from 0 1 2 3 4 it will continue fine probability of 0 less than z less than 1 meaning is z greater Zero less than z, right? Meaning is z greater than zero. Z less than one. Z greater than zero meaning is it it is not including zero. Greater than zero is one, two, three, four. Less than one is only zero, right? Less than one is zero when you consider only positive value. So we are subtracting zero, one, two, three, four. I mean we are subtracting zero only zero from these values. Z greater than zero consists of zero, one, two, three, four. So we are subtracting only zero from this value, so that you will get all the values greater than one. So this will be the values greater than one. Zero and one we are subtracting, so that meaning is Z greater than zero in the sense zero to all the values it has. So we are subtracting zero and one from that. Why? Because we need the probability of Z greater than one, but not equal to one. fine so now i'm sorry i forgot to tell you you just write note point in somewhere else of your notes one of the standard value is that probability of z greater than equal to 0 will be 0.5 fine similarly probability of z less than or equal to 0 will be 0 so these are the standard values for the normal distribution whenever you have z greater than or equal to 0 you can write 0.5 whenever you have z less than or equal to 0 it is 0 for normal distribution so since you have z greater than or equal to 0 you can write 0.5 directly here minus probability of 0 less than z less than 1 we need to calculate by using the formula 1 by square root of 2 pi integral is from 0 to 1 e power of minus z square by 2 into dz now 0.5 as it is minus now upper limit is 1 right so you just look at 0.1 One is another than point one. It is point one under zero column. Why? Because we don't have further term, so it is zero point three nine eight. I'm sorry, one is right. So one in the sense it is one point zero. See, don't get confusion. Suppose you, you if you have point one, you have to look at point one column. So when you have one, meaning is one point zero. One point zero in the sense you have to see this column. One point zero first value. Point three four one four. Point three four one four one point zero zero column is point three four one four so point three four one four minus lower limit is zero so zero value is zero so we will get zero point five minus zero point three four one four clear I'll just show you once again see here you have one. So here you have one one in the sense you have to look one point zero zero column it is point three four one three I'm sorry one three it is point three four One three. See one meaning is one point zero. One point zero zero column is point three four one three. So you have to write point three four one three. Lower limit is zero. So in the zero column you will be having zero only. So I am writing zero. So when you subtract you will get. Now we need to find probability of z greater than one. So let me subtract point five minus zero point three four one three. So you will get zero point one five eight seven. So this is for only one distribution. 
fine but total how many students are there 15 students so for when you have uh, one pen cost of one pen is 10 two pens is when you're going to you, you should multiply 2 into 10 for three pen 3 into 10 similarly for one student it is 0 0.1587 for 15,000 student it is therefore number of students scored more than 55 mark is equal to 15,000 students into 0 0.1587 so when you multiply you will get 2381 so this is the required solution hope so it is clear so please write down these two points in a note so this is the standard values clear given x value you have to convert it in terms of z and use the formula and remember this this is new concept and you need to memorize clear now let me solve one more wording problem in this so here is the problem the greatest bangalore corporation installed 2000 hope so it is clear right so 2000 bulbs in the streets of basavanagudi if these bulbs have an average life of 1000 burning hours with a standard deviation of 200 hours what number of bulbs might be expected to fall in the first 700 burning hours fine so here also given data first let me write solution we need to find 700 burning hours fine so x value is 700 and what else is given standard deviation is given 200 and mu that is mean value is given right so mean value mu is average is none other than mean remember average and mean one and the same so average is none other than mean it is 1000 so first let me write down the mean data now we need to anyhow x is given we need to calculate z value it is given by x minus mu by sigma x is 700 minus mu is 1000 divided by sigma is 200 fine so minus 300 divided by 200 you will get so you will get minus 1.5 so given x value first you need to convert it in terms of z as we are discussing normal distribution with reference to z fine now we need to calculate probability of z less than or equal to minus 1.5 why because we need to calculate um, now an expected number of bulbs which fall in first 700 burning hours 700 in the sense when x is equal to 700 what is the value of z z is minus 1.5 so what we have done is we have converted x in terms of z so z is none other than minus 1.5 fine so here average life of 1000 burning uh, 1000 burning hours with the standard deviation total average is 1000 burning hours out of 20,000 bulbs I'm sorry 2000 bulbs now we have to find first 700 burning hours in the sense we have to take x as less than or equal to 700 so it is none other than when x is equal to 700 z value is minus 1.5 so that is why I have written here fine so more the problems you practice more the idea you will get so as I already told you in the previous problem we can write this as probability of z greater than or equal to 0 minus probability of 0 less than less than a that's it it is there is no equals so 0 less than z less than 1.5 whatever the value you have you just subtract fine the, and remember you have to take positive value here so we are subtracting all the positive values from the normal distribution so probability of z greater than 0 meaning is 0.5 as already given in a note point so whenever you have less than it is 0 whenever you are greater than you have 0.5 minus I'll just use the formula 0 to 1.5 e power of minus z square by 2 dz so i'll just give you a key point whenever you have the value here so you have to when since you are subtracting whatever the value is there you just subtract from 0 to that value so that will give you the normal distribution now 0 0.5 as it is minus now upper limit is 1.5 look at the column of 1.5 in the sense 1 below 5 1.5 below 0 fine so it is 0 0.4332 0.4332 minus lower limit is 0 anyhow you will get 0 only so 0 0.5 minus 0 0.4332 so when you subtract you will get 0 0.067 so this will be the probability of z less than or equal to 1 minus 1.5 fine since we have how many number of bulbs this is for only one so we have 2000 bulbs in a given problem it is given that totally we have 2000 bulbs so we have to calculate it for 2000 as we already done it in a previous problem there were 15000 students so we are multiplying it with 15000 we have 2000 bulbs therefore number of bulbs number of expected bulbs expected bulbs which fall in which fall in 700 burning hours 
700 burning horses 2000 into 0 0.067 so when you multiply you will get 134 clear so this is what the problems based on normal distribution is please go through this video and try to take running notes and the only thing is in both the problems you have to remember this new concept apart from that only the formula writing and the simplification so in the next session i'll be doing with the problems few more problems based on this normal distribution thank you continue the next session